Let me see those hands. Be proud. If you know the answer, be proud and raise your hand. I teach fourth grade at the Fred W. Hill School in Brockport, New York. English language arts, the sciences, and technology. I don't know about you, but this stuff gets me excited because all of a sudden you start discovering how wonderful writing can really become. If I'm down in South Africa, which is one of the greatest diamond producers in the world, it's easy to dig up a diamond, but it might take me a few months to facet that diamond, to make that diamond beautiful. That's the revision process. The revision process can sometimes take longer than the actual writing of the story itself. Christopher winning the Teacher of the Year Award is just another example of all the great teachers that we have in Brockport and his dedication to the community and the kids that we service. I've mentored 11 student teachers over the course of my career. I've kept in touch with almost all of them. Once my student, always my student. To be a student teacher in Chris Albrecht's class has been amazing. He's really good at just letting me take over, take a lesson, make it into my own. And even if it fails, he's always there to back me up. And he's taught me a lot about children and how to help them be successful in education. I want you to take both pointer fingers. Neutral. Neutral. Weak. Weak. Stronger. Stronger. Getting really strong. Getting really strong. Strongest. I came back to be Mr. Albrecht's intern because he really impacted me in elementary school and I was in an internship program and I really wanted to be in his classroom. I teach my students to write in cursive. Um, that is uh, out of vogue. However, I look at cursive writing as an art and um, to give the kids a lot of pride in what they, um, what they can do and express themselves. And um, through that, I've noticed kids are motivated. They want to learn it, and it's something that they really enjoy. He is one of those teachers that just makes an amazing difference in a kid's life over the course of that year, and he educates the whole child. When he came in, what I love was how focused you are. That says a lot about you as, as you know, young men and young ladies. You know how to behave right here. Here's your meditation question. The social emotional development of a child is, I think it's, it's uh, actually supersedes um, curriculum. We, we need a world of people that are happy and enjoy what they're doing. I don't teach a class of children, I teach 25 individuals. Discipline problems go down, joy goes up, learning goes up, test scores go up. I've created a culture of service in my classroom, and in turn, respect and responsibility seems to take care of itself. I pledge to be respectful of myself and others. I will be responsible for my actions. I will be a learner and I work in a positive attitude. We are no school hawks.